All right, what is up guys, this is Brady coming at you with a brand new video today. So I haven't made a video in a few days. Um, weekdays are just extremely busy for me, but today I thought I would come at you with a what's in my car video. Now this video is kind of old. Um, YouTubers were doing this a while back, um, but I still really enjoy watching those videos. So I was like, why not make one? Um, and I do tag Upshift Unlimited, do one for your car. We'd love to see what else uh, or other Celica owners, what they have in their cars. But Today is absolutely beautiful outside, but it's a bit windy, so that's why I'm recording in the garage. But, like I said, I'm just gonna be showing you what's in the car. This does not include performance or cosmetic upgrades. This is purely just like the junk, the boring stuff in my car. But I enjoy watching these videos, so hope you guys do too. Let's get inside. All right, so as I said, we're gonna be starting with the inside of the car here. Um, so I try and keep this car as clean as possible. Um, like I said, it is a daily, but I try and keep everything nice and neat and clean. But there is always a few things. So really there's not much on the driver's side. There is a pocket on the door, but it's so small you can't fit anything in there. Um, the only thing I could really talk about right now is, uh, I'll talk about this little cup, um, cupboard holder thingy. So this is what I'm talking about. Um, the Celicas have this little storage um, thing here, which you can just plop open, there's a few things. So inside of here I have the mount, this is for the um, the vent, the air vent mount, um, and then I have, only other thing I have in here are my sunglasses, um, these are just simple, cheap, uh, glasses, but they're made out of metal, so they're decent, um, and then I also usually have my Ray-Bans in there, so those usually sit right there, so that's really, it's all in that compartment, uh, that's really, that's all that's on the driver's side, like I said, oh, let's see if I can shut that, there we go. Uh, like I said, there's that storage unit, but there's not much you can fit in there. So that's really it for the driver's side. So let's move over to the passenger side and we'll see All right, what's guys, in. So now that you are on the passenger side, um, I'll show you that everything that's really on in this area. Um, and then, of course, in there, too. So um, as you can see, there are a bit of cable stuff here, um, which that's the only really kind of messy thing about the car. But this is my FM transmitter. Um, this car, the radio does not have auxiliary or Bluetooth. Uh, it's from 2002, so it doesn't have any of those fun functions for your phone. So instead of buying a whole new head unit, I just got this $20 FM transmitter, um, which you saw a couple of video goes, uh, videos ago. I talked about it, but I have a aux cable here to listen to music. And then I have my um, phone charger here. It's the iPhone 5, 6, 5S, 6S, 7, that one. So, oops. So these are really long cables, but um, I usually only have one in at a time, but whenever I need to charge my phone, I pull this one out. Otherwise, it's in this compartment here. Um, and then I also have right here in my cup holder space, I have the uh, um, cigarette, cigarette lighter, um, which I can fit in here when I don't need that. Um, then I also have a quart. So there's not much that goes in here because you really can't fit much of anything in here. Um, like I said, and the five things I hate about this car, uh, if there's anything that's higher than the cup holders, it won't, it doesn't work because that's exactly where I shift. Um, but then of course right here is the ashtray, which is too small to really fit anything. So, um, yeah, that's really it for there. Um, and then we have the little, um, storage space here, armrest space that opens up. Um, you can't see inside of it, but I'll just show you what we got here. So we got, this is a, one of the mount clip or like screwy screw things, whatever that is for the uh, GoPro. Um, and then I have the GoPro mount. This is the sticky mount that was right here, which you saw in the very early videos, which I finally took off. Um, it's basically worthless now, but it's still in there anyways. Um, I have another one of those uh, screw things for the GoPro. And then I have two CDs. So when I first got this car, I didn't have the FM transmitter. I actually didn't get this until I got my license. So. Um, we really stuck to CDs because um, when we got this, it was in Kokomo, which is like three hours away from where we live or something like that. So I brought two CDs along, um, and they've just stuck in the car ever since. I don't really use this one, but this is the uh, uh, Guns N' Roses Appetite for, Descru Appetite for Destruction. Um, there's no modern CDs in here because these are all from my dad, but this is the Guns N' Roses one. I like Guns N' Roses. Um, and then I also have the Journey Greatest Hits album. Um, this, I listen to this album so much. I love every single song in this. I love Journey. Journey and Def Leppard are my two favorite classic rock bands. So there's not really much else in here. Um, of course in here, which I don't know if you can see, um, just the simple stuff like my registration, um, paperwork. Uh, the only really kind of cool thing, I guess, is I have my 
the lug nut thing for the tire or wheels, sorry. And then I have the mount as well, um, the sticky mount, which um, does not work at all. And um, then the only other thing I really have up front here is I have this, which is the uh, uh, mount for my camera. Um, like I said, the thing was too long, so it doesn't work, but I keep it there anyways. I have the garage door opener here. Um, then right here, I have the new car scent um, air freshener. This is literally the best smelling air freshener. My little brother thinks it smells like smokes and cigarettes, but I don't know how. But this um, is my favorite one. I have like six of these in my room somewhere. Um, and then, of course, right here, I don't know if you can see it, but that is my parking permit for school because I park at school. So um, that's really it. For the back seats, which you can't see, um, I just have my coat. Um, I always keep my coat in the back seats because I don't like wearing my coat when I get in my car and driving. It's just I get hot really quick, and I can easily change the temperature. So I just leave that in the back for, um, like, walking into school and stuff. And then the only other thing I have in the back seats, if I can get it, is this, which you saw in the name of my Celica video. This uh, I actually got uh, for my birthday, but it's from Disney World. Uh, it's a teddy bear with R2-D2 get up on it, which my car is called R2, if you guys do not know that. So that's the story behind that. Um, so that's really it for um, this whole area. Uh, we'll move to the trunk now, and I'll show you what's in there. Okay, so we are now on to the trunk of the car. You can't see me, but you can see the trunk. Um, this is the best view I could get for everything. Uh, but like I said, there's not much here in the trunk. I try and keep this as clean as possible. Um, there's usually every Sunday and every Wednesday guitars that are stuck back here, um, but right now it is pretty clean. Um, but there are a few things, and first of all, you can see right here, you've seen this in many videos, um, the wooden rod thing I have there. Yes, that is the way this stays up, because the hydraulics um, need change, but that is sitting there. Um, and like I said, it's winter months, so I have this in here, which is just to scrape, it's an ice scraper, um, ice chencil, I should say. Um, it's got both the functions. Um, and luckily I don't need it today because it is like 60 out and it is very sunny, which is beautiful. Um, and then I have my GoPro, uh, what is this, the GoPro mount thing. Um, it's the, uh, it's the uh, waterproof one, so if it like falls in the water, the orange tip stays up above water. Um, but it's really nice just to use as a handle as well for the GoPro. So that's there. Um, and then I have this, which is the Aqua Dry. Um, PVA drying towel. It's basically the chamois. Um, this is not by any means my favorite company. The Absorber is my favorite company of chamois, but I got this one for Christmas and it's pretty big. Um, it's pretty beat up, so I really only use this when a car is really dirty. Um, I just leave this one in the back of the car, but when we do our own detail washes, um, I have a whole separate one for like really clean stuff. Um, but this one's just kind of like the throwaway one, but it's pretty nice still. Um, and then the next thing I have is this, which is my GoPro case. I think it's basically empty right now. Uh, yeah, it's basically empty. There's a couple little things like the, uh, whatever that thing is, I don't even remember. Um, one battery, and that's really it, but it can house everything there GoPro related. Um, and then the last thing that's really in the trunk that you would maybe care to see is this box here, which actually has all my original lug nuts um, from the original rims. Um, just left them in this box. Don't know why they're still here, but they are. Uh, just because I have nowhere else better to put them. Um, even though the uh, uh, I don't have those wheels at all anymore. But that's really it. Like I said, I try to keep the car as clean as possible. Um, yeah, so. All right, guys. So that is going to be it for the video today. Hope you enjoyed that video. I really love watching those videos. Um, like I said, I shout out Upshift Unlimited to um, do the same thing that I did. I would love to see what's in your Salga. So that's going to be it for today, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.